not just the physical material. Am I right? Yeah. We know that we are human beings having a human experience, but we come from a higher plane. We come from any third, whatever you want to call it, spirit, light beings, souls, God, divine light. We chose to come and have this experience, didn't we? You even chose your parents. You chose this journey because you come here with a specific purpose. You come here with a specific process that you came to do. You all have gifts and talents. You have angelic forces and ancestors that are walking with you, okay? Right now, one of the most important things on this Africa for African return journey is this. To reclaim your names. We've been calling on everybody else. We've been calling on all these other names. Eurocentric names. Greek, Roman names. Now it's time that we recognize we have our own names. And you might have heard that in Ghana, West Africa, we have certain names of the Akan language, right? You heard that we have day names, that each day of the week that you are born is significant to that name, right? But what you haven't heard yet is this. Your names are not just day names, no. They are much more significant than just a day of the week, no. Your names are so significant that they are linked to our ancestral African story of creation. Now, we all know the story of creation, right? Seven days of creation, right? And each day of creation, a certain event happened, right? And look how we're gonna, look how we're gonna conclude and how beautiful this is gonna be. This is gonna, this is gonna wind up to be very beautiful. And it's right and exact historical traditional science. Watch this. First of all, you have seen in West Africa, we have a lot of names that begin with K, right? You got to think, why do we have so many names that have K? Kwame, Kwajo, Kukwa, Kwasi, Kwabena. All this K is because Every letter of the alphabet has a symbolic expression. It means something, each letter. Now, when you look at K, you see one helix is this way and another one is wrapped around it like this, right? This is an abbreviation. This K does this. Does that symbol look like something that you might be familiar with? It does if you continue it. Here is what the K will look like if you continue it. What does that look like? What do we call that in our blood? What is the symbol for our blood? DNA. DNA. That's K. Continue the K. Two helixes wrapping around themselves. This is K. It's a helix with another one wrapped around it. If you continue K, K will do like this. It's a K. Now, why did West African people give themselves this K? It's because K representing DNA. DNA is in our blood. And our blood, our original blood for these human beings, the original human beings, where do our blood, where does it come from? Say it. Ah. Say it. Duh. Come from Onyami. We have the original God DNA. And we know other ethnicities have some aspect of it, but they don't have the original aspect of it because they have been mixed with what? Animals. We don't want to, we ain't hating on nobody, but we got to tell the truth, family. We are telling the truth. Even they admit, admitted themselves. They are not 100% homo sapien. There's only 100% sapien, homo sapien. It is the African man and woman. Everybody else is mixed. And you know that they're mixed. Because if you think 
they will treat you and be humane towards you, you got to realize how much animal they have in them. I'll give you one a clue about how you can tell how much animal is in other ethnicities. Not to call nobody out individual, but you could take other, other human beings on this planet not of African ancestry. You can wet them or let them sweat. And I can blindfold any one of you. And I can put a chicken, a rat, a dog, and one of those other ethnicities beside each other and wet them all. And if I blindfold you and I ask you, what do you smell? You would say an animal, an animal, an animal, an animal, an animal. It's in their DNA. No hate, this is just scientific, biological truth. They know it, their scientists have come out with it and said, yes, they have Neanderthal blood in them. Now, why, why should we bring all this truth out? It's because we want to show you how African people importance of names are. Remember we have this K. What does K represent? DNA, original DNA, before it got tainted and mixed with animal. The next thing in, in Ghana, West Africa, we hear a lot of Kwa, 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 Kwa Me, Kwa Dro, Kwa Si. See? Ku kwa. Why do we have so much kwa? Because around the world over, when you hear the expression, ah, uh, ja, Allah, Jehovah, ah, uh, kwa, na, ja, it means what? Onyami, God Almighty Goddess. So in West Africa, we have kwa. You hear Ja, you hear Ya, Allah. Every time you hear Ah, it means God, the world over. All ethnicities, all nations. In Ghana, West Africa, we say Kwa. Because Kwa means God, they there, God on Yamiwa. Now, what's the first day of the week? We all agree it's Sunday? Monday. Some people say in Monday. Sunday, Monday. You know why the confusion, the master trichinologists have thrown his monkey wrench in there. The master trichinologists has used trichinology to keep us separated from who we are. And he does this by distorting education. If you look at your phones right now and you look at the calendar, it's going to say Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. And every calendar is going to say Sunday. But he has made us a slave to the working. Monday is the first work day, isn't it? So we associate that with the fact that we remove us from our spiritual countenance. Okay? So we establish the first day of the week is Sunday. Now, I know folks ain't going to church that much these times and these days, but there's a few of us that still, we don't throw the Bible out. Don't get rid of the Bible. It's just the interpretation of the Bible. It's all in there. Ain't nowhere in the Bible that it says there was nobody named Jesus the Christ born on the 25th of December, is it? No. And we keep going out and buying all these gifts and putting all these lights up and Santa Claus coming down the chimney just because, oh, it's just a day for giving. And, and we could do that with every other folly day. Oh, yeah. Oh, the worst of them all is Easter. We got little bunny rabbits that's laying chicken eggs. <laughs> And I didn't know Halloween was so big. Now you got grown people over there dressing up the whole day, going to work. <laughs> Celebrating ghosts, goobling. That day you can get to be anybody you want to be. And it's all in the name of spending money and letting your inner animal out. Anyway, Kwa. Now, astute Bible students. I know somebody here should know Remember I said our names are related to the African story of creation. 
Now we know on the first day of creation, what did Onyami, God Almighty Goddess, do on the first day, on Sunday? What event happened of creation? What was the first day? God did what? I will tell you because the etymology of what the event happened is in the name in Ghana, West Africa. First of all, you're hearing a bastardized aspect of the names. On the day of Sunday, what you're hearing today is you're hearing crazy. That's the short version of it. It's not crazy. What's the name on Sunday, family? Kwa Asida. That's the original name. Kwa Sida. I told you, Kwa means God, Almighty Goddess. In West Africa, the end of the word, Kwa Asida, Da means what? Day. Kwa, day. Now listen to the middle of the word. Kwa Asida. Da is saying God did what on Sunday? God did what? What did God do, family? God ascended. Some people say God rested. God rested on Sunday. But God wouldn't need to rest on the first day of the work. He hadn't started the work yet. She just came down from the heavens to start the work of creation. So on Sunday, Kwa, God ascended on that day to get ready. Kwa Asida. Monday. What's the event? You can look this up online. All you got to do is match the names. When you match the names, you will be blown away about how African people are talking about the creation in the names. They're not just day names. Don't ever let nobody tell you you're just called that because you're born on Monday or Tuesday. You are not. The aspects of your personality and the day that you were born is woven into the creation story. Kwa'asida, people born on Sunday are a certain way. My wife is born on Sunday. I was going to pick on her. <laughs> Monday, listen to the name. Quadro. Quadro. God dro. Now, astute students, what did the creative forces do on Monday? What happened on Monday? That's the day that God separated the what? The firmament. Put the firmament in between. The primordial waters above, you see the water in the sky, blue. You see the waters below, blue. In the middle, he put what? Air, the firmament. Water in air in chemical terms is called what? Hydrogen. The name is Quadro. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Who's born? What day are you born? Thursday. Friday. Friday. Do you know the event of what happened? This is the last one. Y'all gonna do the homework yourselves, but I wanna take up the whole night. Friday born people. We know the name, right? Kofi. Ko. If somebody say, if I say ko, 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 ko. Don't tell them. Ko. Ko. Go. Haven't you heard that since you've been here? You know what Bamani tell you, go, leave me, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> the ambassador, yeah. you know, Bamani said, bra, 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 come, come, come. <laughs> Bamani said, bra, 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 they don't say, go. His soldiers might say, go. Listen to the name. Go, fie. Fie means what? House, home. Go home on Friday. Why? Because Friday is the day that the creative forces made the first home for humankind to live in. 
Now, how does that affect the personality that I said? These names are not just names. I will show you right in front of Efua. People born on Friday, because the attribute and the event, and now this is all allegorical, because it says something that means something else. If you're born on that day, you have certain attributes of that frequency, and that vibration is strong in you. The first home for mankind was created on Friday. People born on Friday usually have immaculate homes. They have homes that the family keep coming over. They got to look outside the curtain and say, turn off the lights. Maybe we're not here. Maybe they'll go away. They like and they good hosts. They're homebodies. She got a good home and people like to visit her. She know how to host you at her home. Have y'all any of y'all ever been to her home here? But she can bear witness. Yeah. You got a beautiful home, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm also born on Friday. I'm Kofi. This is my home. Is it beautiful? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Am I a good host? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are y'all ready to start the names? Are y'all ready to start the names?